Hi everybody, it's Mr. Strickland and I wanted to make a short video for you to help you work through some of Newton's, uh, some of the practice problems that we have about Newton's second law. I hope you appreciate some of my subliminal messaging here about my class because I know you guys love this class so much. So anyway, um, I'm going to jump right into it and work a few practice problems for you that will help you do your homework. Alright, so jumping right in there. Here we go. What if we need to find the acceleration for a 6.3 kilogram mass with the following external forces acting upon it? So what do we do? The first thing we need to do is find out uh, the net forces in, in each direction. So if we fake uh, the net force in the x direction is 8 newtons minus 2 newtons, which gives us 6 newtons net force to the right. Alright, and then the sum of the forces in the y direction are 3 newtons up and 3 newtons down, which gives us a net force of 0 in the up and down direction. Alright, let's look at uh, what else we were given here, the givens. We were told that we have a 6.3 kilogram mass. All right. And now that we know our total sum of all of our forces equals 6 newtons to the right, then what is it we need to find? This problem wants us to find the acceleration. So at this point, it's a... Uh, it's a pretty simple problem to solve. Our, and let me flip to the next page and we'll work that out. Or let's see, let me do it this way. Let me just uh, make some of this a little bit smaller, scrunch it up so we get it all on one page. That'll work because you've already seen that. All right, our formula that we need to use is force equals mass times acceleration. Now we're solving for acceleration, so let's rearrange the formula. Acceleration equals force divided by mass. So our acceleration is going to be 6 newtons divided by 6.3 kilograms. And that will give us an answer acceleration. Let me move this again just a little bit so we can get our answer in here. Our final answer is the acceleration is going to be 0.95 meters per second squared. And just to make sure that you know that the units work here, because Newton's divided by kilograms, let's just kind of make a little note here that a Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. And if we divide that by kilograms, then kilograms cancel. And what we're going to get there is meters per second squared. So our units all work out there. All right. So that problem wasn't too terribly horrible, was it, guys? All right, moving along to the next one. Uh, it says, sketch the free body diagram for a mass that has, uh, let me see, let me scoop this up a little bit. Make a little room here on my board. All right, we need to sketch a free body diagram. So here's a box. And it says we have 12 Newtons to the right, and we've got six newtons going up, we've got two newtons going down, and four newtons to the left. All right, and what's the net external force that's on that mass? If the mass is three kilograms, find the acceleration. Well, first thing we need to do, like on the previous problem, we need to find our net forces. So the forces in the x direction are 12 newtons minus four newtons, which gives us 8 newtons to the right, and then some of our forces in the y direction, we have 6 newtons minus 2 newtons, which gives us 4 newtons going up. Alright, so let's sketch and see what that looks like. Now this ought to sound very similar to something we've already done. We've got a net force in the x direction going to the right that is 8 newtons in magnitude. And we've got a net force 
going upward that's four newtons. And so to find the net force, we just simply need to find the hypotenuse there. So working that here out here, let's see, C is going to be equal to A squared plus B squared. You know, we always start with our formula. Okay, so the hypotenuse is going to be equal to the square root of 8 newtons squared plus 4 newtons squared. So C equals 8.94 newtons. All right, now that tells us the magnitude, but we still have to find the direction. And what I need to do here, I'm going to need to go to another page, I think. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do that. So let me go to the next page. Uh, I've got to stick a page in there. I want it to look nice, so let's color it. All right. Now remember we had a, let me, let me redraw where we were here. We got a magnitude to the right of eight newtons. And we had a magnitude going up of four newtons. We found that resultant magnitude was 8.94 newtons. Now we have to know the direction of that. So if we look at uh, tangent theta, now we have to do the inverse tan here of the opposite over adjacent, then I mean, y'all have done this, so we work out we have an angle of 26.6 degrees. So we have a magnitude of 8.4 newtons in a direction of 26.6 degrees. So let, let's uh, summarize that. The resultant force equals 8.94 newtons at 26.6 degrees. All right, now if we go back, let's see what else the problem wanted us to, to solve. Go back and look. All right, we found the net external force on the mass, and that says if the mass is three kilograms, find the acceleration. So now we have to go to Newton's second law. So force equals mass times acceleration. We're solving for acceleration, so it's the force divided by the mass. All right, the acceleration then is 8.94 Newtons divided by the three kilogram mass, and we get an acceleration. Let me move this over here where we can see it. We get an acceleration of 2.98 meters per second squared. All right, so I think we found everything we needed. There was the magnitude of the, of the resultant forces and the acceleration. All right, now that may have looked ugly, but it's not anything that we haven't been doing in class. All right, um, let me do one more quick one and then we'll stop the video because I think that'll be enough. This one, let's just start with uh, this word problem here. Robert and Laura are studying across from each other at a wide table. Laura slides a 2.2 kilogram book towards Robert. If the net force on the book is 2.6 newtons to the right, what's the book's acceleration? So let's see what we were given. Here, we always need to take keep track of that. So the mass here was equal to 2.2 kilograms. Um, the net force, so the sum of the forces, was 2.6 newtons to the right. And now what we need to solve for is we, we need to solve for A. So we need to, the unknown, is the acceleration. All right, so jumping in here, Newton's second law. If force equals mass times acceleration, solving for A, A equals force divided by mass, okay? So the acceleration is 2.6 Newtons divided by 2.2 kilograms. Just plug and chug that number into the calculator, we're going to get an acceleration of 1.2 meters per second squared to the right. Piece of cake, kids. You guys are awesome at this. And just remind me, man, isn't this fun? Don't you just love physics? Um, going to stop that there. This is a little over, not quite 10 minutes. And I think this gives you enough to be able to do the, uh, the practice problems that I have for you in class. So I hope this video helped you out. And I'll see you in class.